Why doesn't Chabad follow the Rabbeinu Tam's 72 minutes for ending Shabbos and Yom Tov? The putting on Rabbeinu Tam tefillin and the holding 72 minutes for Yom Tov Shabbos is two separate things. Putting on Rabbeinu Tam tefillin we do because it's brought in Shulchan Aruch that one is supposed to put on Rabbeinu Tam tefillin and according to Kabbalah especially Rabbeinu Tam tefillin is something which is connected to the time of Mashiach. Waiting the seven, that doesn't mean that we pass in everything necessarily only according to Rabbeinu Tam. Waiting the 72 minutes is a very interesting thing because the Beis Yosef actually writes that one should wait those 72 minutes, like Rabbeinu Tam. The Alter Rebbe in his Shulchan Aruch also writes to do it following the opinion of the Beis Yosef. However, in the Siddur, and since as Chabad Chassidim we follow the Psakim, the rulings of the Alter Rebbe specifically in the Siddur, which is what he wrote second and what he wrote specifically for Chassidim, now, there the Alter Rebbe writes that the idea of Rabbeinu Tamshkia, especially in our countries, is Neged Achosh. It's something which you see clearly that it's dark already. And therefore, the Alter Rebbe says that even Luchumra, even for the stringency of when Shabbos goes out, we don't have to keep it. It's not something which we follow. And especially, uh, many times following it for being stringent for the Chumrah can bring to the Kula, to the leniency of also being more lenient in the taking in Shabbos or in other things which are supposed to be finished by the day and therefore we follow only the Shkia as we are following what the Alter Rebbe Paschals in the Siddur. Thank you.